Have you ever looked at execution plan and noticed that some thread seems to work way harder than others? Hey there, welcome to another episode of SQL in a 60 seconds. Today, I want to talk about something really fascinating. How SQL Server splits up work between CPU threads when running a query in parallel. Let's take a look at this query. We are pulling data from cells order details table in the AdventureWorks database and we are ordering the result by the order quantity column on the surface. It's pretty straightforward query, but when we dive into execution plan, things start to get interesting. Check out this execution plan. You will notice a clustered index scan and a parallelism operator. SQL Server is running this query in parallel distributing the workload across multiple threads. If we look at the details for the cluster index scan, we can see the actual number of rows processed by each thread. And here's the catch. The workload isn't evenly split. For example, some threads process significantly fewer rows than other ones. Now, you might be wondering, why doesn't SQL Server divide the workload equally? There are few reasons for that. The first one is data skew. If the data isn't evenly distributed, some threads end up with more work than others. The next one is partitioning. The way SQL Server partitions data can also affect how workloads are assigned. The third one is query plan decisions. The execution plan itself might not divide the work perfectly because of how tasks are assigned during query compilation. So why does this matter? When one thread has to do a lot more work than others, it can hold up the entire query. This is sometimes called a thread starvation effect, where query's performance is bottlenecked by the slowest thread. Here are some tips to handle uneven workloads. First, analyze your execution plan. Always check how threads are distributed and identify major imbalances. The next one is review your indexes. Adding an index on column like order quantity can reduce the need for full table scan. Check data distribution. Make sure your data isn't heavily skewed across partitions. The next one is the most important one, and that is adjust max drop. Limiting the degree of parallelism can sometimes help balance the workload better. All right, that's wrap for today's episode. Uneven workload distribution is fascinating aspect of SQL Server's parallel processing and understanding it can give you a big advantage when tuning your queries. If you found this helpful, hit the like button and share it with your friends. Until next time, keep optimizing SQL.